That's little David Wilkins, the exciting, moving, electric style of one of Nashville's most outstanding stars in country music, and anybody who's had the opportunity to see him is in store for a treat if you haven't get to see him wherever he appears near you because he's he's one of the great talents in in performing and writing we're with david here in nashville david i guess that uh, there are an awful lot of experiences which you'd like to forget about as far as clubs are concerned that's a proving ground of really training and forming and really growing and progressing as a performer you learn an awful lot in the club what are some of the important rules and lessons that have held you in good stead working all these crazy places well i'll tell you what i guess the main thing i try to do is to do Instead of doing what I want to do, I do try to do what the people want to do. Another thing is to stay off the piano stool. <laughs> I had an incident once where this piano stool broke with me, and you, you know how heavy I am, and, and darn near killed myself up in Minneapolis one night. So I, I've learned to stay off the, the piano stool, really. What other things, what weird things have happened to you that, uh, you know, that audiences get a kick out of? Have you ever had problems with hecklers? I know a lot of performers are always prone to that. People get a little bit carried away with a performer and the excitement of a performance, and sometimes demand a little bit more than the performer can handle at the time, because basically you're psyched up to do a certain job, and the minute there's the least distraction can throw people off. Do hecklers throw you off, or you, you kind of take it in stride? No, really, I tell you the truth, I've never really had what you might call a true heckler. I've had people that would get a little bit uh, feeling good, and... Uh, and be, you know, hollering, uh, screaming across the room at me, uh, different things, you know, and, and, and I love it because I, uh, it gives me a chance to uh, ad-lib a little bit, you know, and, and work with the people, but I've never had a real true heckler that really tried to disrupt the show, you know. It was always in, in fun, you know. Well, if they did, you could always sit on them. <laughs> that's true. That, that'd stop them, wouldn't it? <laughs> little David Wilkins, our guest on Country Cooking, right now. I've lost count of the drinks I've lost track of the time That old juice box in the corner Keeps eating up my dimes That's her song playing on the jukebox That's her memory Cause I give them all my time Once I gave her all my time Couldn't think of nothing else But since she's gone, time's all I have So I spend it on myself I sit here till they lead me out And I'm drunk and running blind She made me king of all the tavern Cause I give them all my time I'm the king of all the losers I'm the best what I do If there's any made me what I am today Couldn't drink her off my mind She made me king of all the seven Now I give them all my time Give them all my time. It's another great example of one of the fine performers of country music, one of country's brightest stars. Isn't he great? David Wilkins with Lee Arnold here in Nashville, Tennessee. What songs do you enjoy writing most? You've written so many and so many types, David. I imagine there has to be a particular kind of song which appeals to you most personally. Well, I really like to write a, a ballad that, you know, has good, strong lines in it. Uh, 
just something that uh, really says something, you know. That's what I like to write better than anything, really. And then, uh, of course, there again, I like to write the rocking things, too. But I would feel like something that's got some strength in it, something that means something. And um, uh, it's something that maybe would say, you know, like uh, tell a, a, a story in life, you know. That's what I really like, something that means something, you know. There are an awful lot of people who come to Nashville every day, and there are a lot of people who leave Nashville very disappointed because it didn't turn out to be what they expected it to be as far as a personal experience, as far as a career experience is concerned. Do you find the town as competitive now, say, as when you first came here a few years ago for young people to start out? Well, personally, I think the town's probably two or three times as competitive as it was when I came here. There's just so many more people in the business, and uh, it's just a lot harder to get in, it, it seems to me. What would be the best advice you could give to someone who says, is a good writer, is a good singer, has good material, at least thinks he has, would you adv what's the correct step to take as far as exposing their career or getting a career started? Well, especially if they're a good writer, I think it's, first of all, they've got to find a, a publisher that believes in them and uh, that, uh, that will go all the way with them, you know. Like, uh, if one publisher don't like it, a lot of times uh, the next one will or the next one will. And... Uh, you have to get that that uh, publishing company, I would say, or some people that, that know what they're doing in the business behind you. And when you do, then you've got to really work like heck to keep going and keep writing. And uh, when you think, well, I'm getting caught up here and I can sit down and relax now, that's when somebody's going to pass you on the right-hand side. <laughs> now, once again, here's little David Wilkins. me touch you so here we sit holding hands desire inside my body almost more than I can stand I've waited for your loving till my last willpower is gone baby let's something even if it's wrong baby let's do something even if it's wrong I stood all I can stand it's better wrong than being gone alone all I Just one chance to sing my song Baby, let's do something Even if it's wrong You say you really love me but you keep me hanging on You're painting pretty pictures Baby, that ain't what I want I want you to take me And love me till my strength is gone Baby, let's do something That's little David Wilkins with Lee Arnold here at MCA Records in Nashville, Tennessee. David, I want to thank you for stopping by and letting us chat with you today and hope that we get to see you again very soon on Country Cooking and much luck with a career. Lee, I would love it to, to be on the show any time, and I want to thank you for this opportunity. And uh, you have a nice time while you're here in Nashville. Appreciate it. That's David Wilkins, little David Wilkins, I might add. And this is Lee Arnold reminding you that in the Army Reserve, part of what you earn is pride. <laughs> Choo! 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 Choo!
Give me that good night special With that special loving touch Give me that good night feeling 